Hi guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing a St. Patrick's look for you guys, for you guys. I said guys like five times right there. Well, actually two, but whatever, it was a lot of guys. Anyways, maybe I have my mind on guys. I'm going to do a St. Patrick's look for you so that you can see what it's, what, uh, give a different idea of what you could do for it. I really like St. Patrick's Day because it's all about green and that's my favorite color. Another reason I like it is because I'm brown eyed. If you can't tell I'm brown eyed and um, greens make brown eyes pop so it just gives me a new reason to have outrageous greens all over my face and to have my eyes pop out so my first the first tutorial I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like three or four of these but my first tutorial that I'm gonna do is really really easy you probably don't even have to see this video after I tell you the product I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using this right here I think you can see it. The reflection might be bad. But it's a Wet n Wild Mega Eyes and it's an Amazon Green or 385A. And it basically comes with these three colors and they actually indented into the um the color what you're supposed to do with it. So the first one is brown bone, then this is crease, and then this is eyelid. And so it's really, really easy for anyone to know what they're supposed to do with these colors. I mean, you can mix them up and match them and do different things for them, but if you don't already, if you don't, if you're not really good at matching colors, this would be a great product because it already tells you what to do. And then it also comes with a mirror. I don't, I don't remember where the mirror is. Oh, there it is. It comes with a mirror. I bet you saw the camera I used. Okay, so this will be the first look I do. So I've already put primer on my eyes and what I'm going to do is take the eyelid color with my shader br my flat shader brush and tap off the excess and then I'm just going to go over my eyes with it. Now this is like a, a brownish green. It's really really subtle but when the light hits it it turns into a green. But when I looked at it I was like oh it's a brown that's interesting because this is supposed to be an all greens palette but I guess after I put it on and the light hits it it's like a shimmery green I will say that the biggest tip I have for anyone who wants to do St. Patrick's Day makeup and not look too ridiculous is pair your very bright green or anything to a earth tone color so like a brown or a, a brownish yellow. Something that's an earth tone color will mute out some of that brightness and it won't look like clown makeup. Okay, so I put the lid the lid color on. Now I'm going to take my dome shader brush, which looks like this, and I'm going to take the crease one, which was the dark green. And if you don't want to go out and buy this, you can just find colors that look like these and you'll be fine and I'm going to rub that all into my crease Oops, I went off a little there but you're just gonna rub this into your crease as I am doing now and if you don't want to rub it all into your crease what you could do instead is just do your outer V and it would still look amazing it just wouldn't look as green and I'm doing the other lid now as you can see okay now oh you want to make sure that your two creases are evened out and the same color if they aren't like if one I uh, one crease if one crease is a lighter color than the other then it doesn't look as w good now I don't really like doing highlights because every little itty bitty hair that I didn't pluck out because I'm lazy shows up incredibly better than it should have so I don't like doing highlights, but it comes with a highlight, and I really wanted to show you what this look could really look like. So I'm going to take some of that brow bone color, the top one, the lightest green. I'm going to tap it off 
tap off any excess and then I'm going to just go right under the brow bone and then I'm going to bring it down into the crease. What this does is it fades out the crease color into your highlight color that way it doesn't look like such bold lines. It looks as if it's merging into each other and that's what you sort of want. Well, not sort of, that's what you want. Okay. And now I'm going to do the other side. I'm tapping off the excess and I'm putting it right under my brow and then I'm bringing it down. Just like that. Now this, I will say, is very, very shimmery. So if you don't want a shimmery, if you don't want a shimmery look, you can watch some of my other St. Patrick's videos that will be up during uh, throughout this week and see different kinds of looks that you can do. Um, you're gonna go ahead and apply your eyeliner and your mascara after this, and, and there you go. This is a St. Patrick's look that you can do really easy. You don't even need a video. It's all explained right here in this little package. And you can also use this to make your eyes pop any other day of the week or year. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please comment below and tell me what you're going to wear for St. Patrick's Day. Are you going to just marker on you a, in green or are you going to wear a green shirt? Have you bought anything for St. Patrick's Day? If so, uh, comment below and tell me. Please subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye.